Hey fam. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Hey Sam. Thank you for coming over to the house. Come on in. Take a seat. Party on down with the SKV. It's kicking. Just kicking. Just kicking. Yes. Come on in the house. Thank you for coming over. Thank you for having your notifications on. So you know it was time to come on over to Auntie House, Grandma House, Mama House, Cousin House. However y'all see me. Sister Girl House. We in the building. Because I started a new segment over here called Catching Up or Let's Catch Up with a famous celebrity that we call family. They don't probably call me family because they ain't got adjusted to my YouTube channel yet. So I'm having all of my family affairs, all of my family over here going over to Candy Burris um, platform. And let her know the fam over here ain't happy with what she doing out there. Yes, we. she put it on her own platform. You know, I had told y'all I want to start a new, um, what do you call it? A new segment where I go and watch some celebrities that they have their own YouTube channel. And try to see what they're talking about. Get that personal side of them. And seeing what it is. So I thought up my whole thing. Catching up with whomever I'm going to talk about. They got their own YouTube channel platform and as we know candy birds of the real housewives of atlanta has her own special youtube channel called speak on it yes she's over there giving reviews and and, and commentary on her show real housewives of atlanta on her perspective of what she went through what she saw and giving her own content about what she really felt about each episode. But sometimes she goes off that set task and she just gives us other uh parts of her life that she wants to share now of course we're not going to be talking about candy and her husband her family dynamics surrogacy ivl treatment we ain't going to be talking about the other ladies on the housewives of atlanta we're not going to be talking about candy's businesses she's having uh nothing really dealing with the housewives it's just going to be i'm catching up with candy burst when she drops down a video or whatever and i just don't feel i don't feel just really good about it i gotta go and come to her platform on my platform and hopefully someone will tell her i'm over here talking about her and yes we definitely ain't gonna get in that mother love play so it ain't really got nothing to do with that y'all got nothing to do with that at all we got candy over there in her latest video talking about she gonna go to her friend miss jean jean she's supposed to be like a I ain't gonna say cosmetologist because that's dealing with hair, but it's more like a dermatology type medical doctor. She is Dr. Jean Jean. That's Candace's friend she knew for over 20 some years. That's what Candace telling us. Uh, during her broadcasting of her commentary, she was giving out introducing Dr. Jean Jean to us. But yet, Candace over there trying to get some botox i ain't I ain't, I ain't saying trying the woman really did it she had the whole uh shots and scenes the whole procedure being um given to us on her platform like she did a little short little blogging type thing so i guess candy gonna be doing a lot of that stuff too but i'm gonna be watching her yeah we ain't even gonna talk about mama joyce okay we ain't now she might need some botox now you would think people that need botox would be like the older people such as myself i'm seasoned i'm 52 loving it living my life living my best life ain't got time to go back and forth with you yeah living my best life yeah so we ain't even talking about todd either no we can't get on him and have a whole segment on him just alone but now we're gonna be talking about miss sexy candy birds over him trying to elevate her status of her looks yes she don't claim the fame in her own words not mine she's an actress she's an actress not trained don't have no talent towards it per se only had a few guest cameo shots and she's calling herself an actress okay yes but if she wants to do that you get one or two times with it i guess you can put that on your resume um we're gonna be watching her too because she's supposed to have some little short um well, it might not be short. I think maybe we coming up on a sitcom or something. Uh, some type of uh, show that they're bringing out. 
um i don't know if it's this summer or whatnot but yeah she got a little casting role when she was telling us a little bit about it but i guess as it comes to fruition and they start having the release date then she's gonna pump that up on her platform speak on it okay and we're gonna go over there and probably do some reviews and recaps on her acting ability as well but right now it just is what it is we're gonna deal with what she gave us we're gonna be talking about well, we already just talked about that. Her calling herself becoming an actress. And we know she couldn't really sing. She's a backup singer. You know, part of group escape uh, group. And how she just didn't want to act real well with those women. Because we already knew who the singer was out of the group. Then she went to this Broadway play and played, I don't know, some head uh, officer or something in some jail. <laughs> I forgot Madam somebody went anyway that went to a point because she didn't stay there long maybe it was a two week stink up in New York she did that Broadway play and we know like I said her girlfriend's gonna cheer her on regardless because that's what girlfriend's supposed to do but you are supposed to have that girlfriend or girlfriends that tell you you full of shit sit your ass down and let's rethink that that little thing you think you're gonna be doing so yeah Candy sitting up here got her you know bedroom candy line with the sex toys and she got her own cosmetic line so my thing is, what the hell are you going up there giving Botox for? Can I tell you, sometimes you be so fake, fraudulent, foolish, and the fuckery that you give us, I can't take it, okay? That's why I'm coming over here on my platform to share my um, disappointments with you. I'm like, girl, come on, you're beautiful. You just uh, curated a, a, a nice line. You wearing the makeup yourself, looking damn good, doing it. Got the body to share it. Got the hair to wear it. And you out there looking like a little model. Now you sitting up here want to put needles up in your face. You think we going to fall for that shit? Hell to the no-no. Even though it is quite expensive as well. But I ain't fin- I don't even like allergy shots. You know how you got to go in there and get the allergy test and they put all these different chemicals on you to see what you reacted to or what you... You know, uh, allergic to Mm-mm, no, ma'am. I don't even like getting vaccination shots. Okay, I, I no, I don't even like getting blood taken. You sitting up there in your forehead, that big pretty forehead of yours, trying to get some Botox to stop the wrinkles from coming in. I'm like, how vain have we gotten, Candy? Now, I could agree with you when you were saying you had them dark circle on your eyes and you hate them because I have them too. But I just live with them, honey, and just still think of myself as flawless, okay? I was born with it. It's genetic. So, uh, my mom don't have it. I don't come to think about it. I think it was just my dad who had it. Um, and my sisters, um, of course. And my, But they didn't have it as bad as, well, yes, they did. My two stepsisters did. But uh, my brother, he didn't really have that darkness till he started getting older. So it might just be an age thing. It might just be a, a race thing. Or it just might be a, a hereditary. You know what I'm saying? Ken? I don't know. Because you're definitely right. It ain't because I ain't getting enough sleep. Like people always tell you, oh, you tired. You ain't getting enough sleep. No, I get a hell of a lot of sleep. And love my sleep. Okay, don't disturb me when you hear me snoring. When you hear me snoring, turn me over if I'm offending you. But other than that, leave me the hell alone okay but anyway uh yeah so i could get with candy talking about the concealer but yeah all that pretty brown bronzing beautiful skin she trying to put some needles up in there trying to hold her composure to stop the lines from coming in i said see that candy you gonna got a little acting gig going on now you don't act you acting all i don't know like we don't even know you you know you acting like i don't know you candy i'm like come on girl what what the hell is botox why you getting my, girl they, that lady was shooting them needles up under her eyes and her forehead under uh just above her eyebrows i like candy candy girl are you crazy are you crazy you think i'm finna jump on the bandwagon and uh you lead me off the cliff now nah, now you got me with the sex toys i like that look at her little, little kinky self trying to get her groove on and then she's gonna have her groove on but i don't know if you're gonna be sticking stuff up there when you get 50 and 60 years old i don't know it just need to hibernate you just need to put your uh kitty cat on hibernation mode and just go on and just be held in somebody's arms <laughs> because all that thrusting and carrying on no nah, we just like our body smelling fresh down there N- you know nothing going on there that we don't know about it's just a normal way and tear you know i don't put mine on uh deep freeze right now because I-, I really just don't want nobody on me at this time you know what i'm saying it's just too much you know 
trying to meet people you think you meet somebody and then they come up being flawed and stuff see i got those dark circles on them but i just wear them cool and, and you know i do have uh you know some spots i don't like but i'm like hey that's what you wear makeup for right but then if you constantly wear all this thick painted on makeup child you look like a booger bear when you take all that makeup off it just like it I don't know, discolorate your skin or something. But it's like you wear it all the time, heavy, all day, every day. And you finally just want to have a time or a moment to have your face breathe. Child, you be coming up looking like somebody unrecognizable, okay? But see, that's the wear and tear you put on your skin on a daily basis by not letting your skin just be without makeup sometimes. But Candy is kind of uh, superficial when it comes like that. She's not solidify herself into, hey, this is how I am. This is how. I look when I'm at home when I'm just chilling and I'm not a part of that fantasy world out there when I walk out the door you know when she's at home doing videos just give us you boo just give us you because what 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 it, what what if a time come we can't get them products you know we can't uh be all fancy like that you know we got to conserve we got to you know bring down some stuff uh downsize or whatever though i'm sure women we ain't gonna give up every hour everything about beauty uh tricks and and, and and strolls we have to do with ourselves to make ourselves feel good you know what i'm saying pampering ourselves is where i'm trying to go with it but i damn sure ain't finna get mm -mm, no ma'am no son no lord no god i'm not even if i was a, a millionaire trillionaires zillionaires we ain't, we ain't made it that far but if it ever come to a point to have zillionaires or zillions out there then i still wouldn't be getting no needles up in my face okay i'm like mm -mm, i got the age you know they already say black don't crack and we don't put it out there to show that's proof in that pudding but you know uh -uh, i'm catching up with can i'm saying hell no flag on play baby flag on play where are you going with this tell me some bow ties but if y'all understand what i'm talking about you need a little bit more edification go on over to candy versus platform called speak on it and she has it up there for you all to preview she's an excellent friend because she's definitely going back giving back to people she known back in the day you know um 20 plus years she's saying she's known jean jean or as we should call her dr jean jean um got her medical license to practice uh doing a little aesthetic type things i think candy was saying she's going into a little bit more deeper in the field where she's going to be doing a lot of maybe plastic surgery uh which is very lucrative uh for anybody that is in the medical field and want to do that type of work yes any specialty i don't care what it is they be making bank bank over just a you know family practitioner or um you know regular internal medicine doctor or pediatrics doctor when you go into a specialty like ear nose and throat uh ophthalmology uh let's see a neurology you know neuroscience or anything that's dealing with surgeons you know you you coming into some serious money but you know they should get paid because they had to do a lot as far as preparing themselves going to school taking out loans this damn third so i guess they should root those benefits but getting back on the can i mean can down you wear wigs you wear extensions we get it we got it good most women do that we all wear makeup you got a beautiful makeup line i have contemplated against some makeup from you too but then i had to think about it. i don't wear makeup like that maybe i you know patron you with some uh, lip gloss or lipstick or something to that thick uh but yeah you got your makeup line going on you uh i guess you not sponsored but you promoted some tea uh type of drink mixture where you know you supplemented some of your meals with just drinking some of your meals and slim down to looking very suave you know got that little sexy sexy on because yeah we really were thinking you were going back in time but you know you've been keeping yourself up and this that and the third so yes you're feeling yourself but girl when you start talking about messing around them eyes and you know you need your sight okay you talk about you want to be an actress and this that and the third honey huh? stop putting them needles where they don't need to go this ain't acupuncture and i ain't too keen on you know people doing holistic measures with getting pain taken away from them or easing up on headaches and they get acupuncture all them little needles going in you too girl please ain't no i ain't no pick i ain't no pin cushion and I ain't no pork and pine you know what i'm saying but i was like damn can you just doing too much you're doing too much you, you're too young to even be investing in the stuff and then our 
body structure or our facial features are so different from other races it's okay to have those little frown lines or whatever then that woman talking about uh she put some over your eyebrows they're gonna make them eyebrows lift up i'm like can sometimes them eyebrows be looking kind of witchy you know what i'm saying like demonic so you don't need to be having that kind of look walking around and it's frozen you know, and you you can't move your face because all the Botox is up there stopping those type of movements. I'm like, girl, don't be like uh, Elvis Presley, uh, wife. What was her name? Priscilla Presley. I didn't put a picture up here because it's kind of scary. But you all go and Google Priscilla Presley and see what I'm talking about. Horror show. Do you get it? Horror show. And, you know, you don't want to be in a position where everything is plastic on your body, Candy. I mean, I heard you had some alterations with them breasts. And I heard you come out your mouth saying you wanted to downsize them. I bet they hurting your back, too, aren't they? But, you know, you're doing too much, Candy. And then, I mean, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I'm not feeling it, Candy. I'm just not feeling it. I'm fam. I'm fam over here because I try to promote you. I try to talk about you in the best way I can without really tearing you down you know because you know how I feel about your antics over there on the Real Housewives of Atlanta but I know you signed up for the drama you signed up for the ratchet mess so you have to you know deliver that's what you're getting paid for so I don't hold that against you but sometimes I do hope that you fare a little bit on caution side and have a little morality we're then trying to bring us dramatic scenes for the drama field uh quota you have to meet to stay on the show you know what i'm saying i understand it got it good but when you start putting needles up in your face and you want us to call yourself throwing dr jean jean's number out there for whoever want to partake now that's why i say you're wrong can i i just got you want to get up there and get them needles up in your forehead and tamper with stuff and that ain't number pure poison botox is cancerous it has some agents of cancer um contributing factors why would you put some shit like that up in your body candy i mean research where botox derived from and what it is made up with before you start injecting yourself with chemicals that are very foreign i mean you already got these little nodules you know coming out the side of your neck and shit even though you got on you got on tv and that doctor that you did see, I saw him also for ear, nose, and throat problems. But, you know, I, I, I lend on to better understanding and I found me somebody else. But, like I said, I remember Dr. Dockery. Yes, uh, he's a very nice gentleman, nice surgeon. Uh, wasn't my cup of tea, but it just is what it is. But, yeah, girl, stop messing with yourself. So pretty. That's a very beautiful picture. And you're supposed to have facial expressions. You're supposed supposed to have those looks that be like do you see the vein in my forehead or whatever you you caused that you caused that now i'm gonna have to whoop your ass or something to that effect or, or, or cuss you out real bad you know what i'm saying but like i said it's all fun love and, and and we try to look out for one another when somebody's going down the wrong path you know what i'm saying i'm, saying, I'm already watching you move over there with them elites honey oh uh shaking and, and mingling with clyde davis and everybody know about clyde davis okay everybody know about clyde davis in the industry and you up there trying to look as all dark as you possibly can doing that one eye symbolism and all that stuff and i don't know can i don't know girl it's like you sinking into the the uh the darkness the abyss and i wish you have an epiphany and come on out girl but i just came to talk about candy over there uh claiming to fame she's finna get into the acting career she need to shape it up a little bit more trying to put botox in that forehead of hers thinking it's going to relieve all her symptoms of what aging process she's really into this fountain of youth i'm like damn baby did you not read your bible you know how many folks was out there doing the doing thing before we got cursed and all this kind of stuff and we don't live as long as they live these folks live 500 almost thousand years old back in the day you know what i'm saying well nowadays but it was up in you know it was up there we known it to be the day of reckoning and the day of things people living longer and not so much disease and pestilence out there and all these things that are going on especially with the coronavirus which i really think it was uh, uh what do you call it laboratory cr laboratory created created in the lab is what i'm pretty much trying to say 
but uh you know everybody gonna have their statistics everybody gonna have their points of view of where it all derived from because i'm like how many times over there in third world countries or whatever people eating bats rats and snakes and ain't no coronavirus came up so i'm i'm, I'm kind of fishy i'm kind of fishy on that one but you know that's just my opinion uh i have one just like people have mouths and tongues and and teeth and whatnot that's just a part of life we all express ourselves in different ways and we have definitely have points of view uh different points of view sometimes we agree over here sometimes we want to whoop ass over here sometimes we want to tell me uh the content creator uh some people tell me i don't know what the hell i'm talking about i need to sit down somewhere this that and the third right 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 you know what i'm saying but i'm like i'm gonna speak my mind that's why i got a mouth i got some intelligence here and there and i'm gonna speak my mind you know what i'm saying so i'm speaking on it candy uh don't do that no more baby don't don't don't, don't let them folk fool you and all these creams of reju rejuvenated youth you can have you know pouring your money down the the sink and all like that just continue to do what you're doing use that concealer that's why you have a makeup line baby use that concealer till you can't use it no more and then just let your face rest on the days that you're out let it rest I mean, if you ought to go, just, you know, get some moisturizing to your skin so you don't look ashy out there or whatnot. Because black folks, you know, if you don't, we don't moisturize, we do get ashy. Even when we sit up there and try to use some lotions and, and creams, sometimes we have to get that Vaseline out. You know what I'm saying? We have to go take it on back to the old school. Get that oil out there. Get, get the baby oil and get the, get the um, Vaseline going on, okay? And, and, and massage our bodies with it so we can come up looking, you know, moisturized, you know? It just is what it is, especially in the winter time. But uh, that's all I had, y'all. I told y'all I'm gonna start this new segment, catching up with any celebrity I choose. And half the time, it's gonna be about the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It ain't gonna be about too many other people because I don't really care too much about any other people. You know what I'm saying? I like what I like. I cater to what I cater to, and that's pretty much it. You know what I'm saying? If I feel I want to talk about somebody in the rap game or whatever, like I did a section on Snoop Dogg. I like Snoop Dogg. Now, I don't like what he's doing to his wife and all that kind of stuff. That don't went out the window. But I like Snoop Dogg. You know, that gin and juice laid back with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. That other one I like, uh, what do you call it? I got the rolly on my arm and I'm pouring Sean Dunn and I roll the best weed cause I got it going on. Snoop! Yes, I know y'all remember that. Yes, honey, I'm taking y'all back. It's Friday night. I'm just talking shit over here. But anyway, that's all I had for Miss Candy Bush. Yes, and that speak on it. Yes, I spoke on it. Don't like it. Get it together, Candy. Stop letting them people put all this medicine in, in your body and you don't know what it's going to do in 30 days from now. I'm saying you might have a big old forehead, a big nodule up there. That's because you got that Botox. You had no business doing, doing that kind of stuff. Test your body first. Do some testing to see if you can take certain things going into your body because it's going into the bloodstream candy and you know girl girl you just got that beautiful baby girl i would hate to see that botox go the wrong way and put you on some kind of uh reviving machine you see what i'm saying don't test with everything not i mean if they can't love you the way you are and you're trying to go out there and get more streams of revenue by acting and stuff don't don't conform so much to the world candy transform be a leader be somebody we will look up to, you know, because right now, you know, it's questionable. It's, it's very questionable out here on what you're doing in these streets. But, you know, I ain't getting down. I'm not, you know, passing judgment because we don't do that over here. We just said, well, when we calling somebody out, fake, frozen and shit like that, we got to speak on it. You know what I'm saying? We got to speak our mind. Like, uh, I was a brother, Ron, I was be saying his song, his song, speak your mind. Speak your mind, baby. Speak your mind. So we'll know uh how to address you going forward but that's all i have for this video y'all get down and tell me what y'all thought about uh my commentary on candy um uh, giving her some clues of what i feel about what she's over there doing when she's doing her speak on it segment but she um pretty much used her own self as commentary by letting us see a little of how she gets down when she's not filming with Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's letting us into her personal life. You know, I, I love it. That's good. You know, some things that you still don't need to show us. Just keep it for yourself and for your family members. But, you know, I mean, it was good to see you trying to be a guinea pig, as you said yourself. Setting yourself up for, um, in my book, failure. Because 
I don't, for the life of me, I don't know why people put four and stuff in their body expecting one thing. And then when it don't come out to be that way that they expect it and it go horribly wrong, then you looking at disfiguration to your whole body or just, dif- dif- uh, you don't become more vain on how you look because you got to pay somebody else to, m- m- you know, fix somebody else's mistake. Not saying she will make a mistake on your face, but there is that chance when, you know, that can happen. You can have a cardiac arrest while you're fooling with these chemicals or whatnot. You know, it's her office situated for those type of situations. You might get hyperventilated over there and your heart may be racing. If she got the equipment to do that CPR uh, life-saving technique on you. I, I mean, you, you just don't. Ah, that's ooh. I, 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 mm, mm. I can go into so many medical uh, scenarios for you by you doing this, but you know, just all because I care. It's all because I'm trying to drop knowledge to you uh, about certain things, and they're in. in uh, excuse me, the interactions of medications going through your bloodstream and how it can impair you. You know, because then, you know, she did something wrong. You, you know, are you going to sue her? You know, are you, you know, you know this, this is, you know, t- and half time, sometimes you can't do business with friends. You can, you know, compliment them on what they're doing. You can buy some of their products and this, that, and the third, but ain't no way in the hell I'm finna go and sit and let somebody I know that I don't know if they're a friend or foe. You know what I'm saying? You just got to fill them out and hope they're going to do the best to you. But, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, fam, y'all tell me what y'all thought. What y'all thought about the situation? Okay? I'm just giving it to you raw and uncut. But I'm here to look at somebody else's opinion, you know. So, don't come in the comments. I'm, I'm a hater. Not a hater. Okay? Not one of those kind of folks. All right? I'm just loving on my people. And when I call a spade, a spade I need to call them out. Just see what it is. Okay? Let me have my opinions. But anyway, get down in them comments. Y'all let me know how y'all feel or not. And I will see you next video. But definitely subscribe to my channel. Like and share my videos. And I will see you next time. Good night.